What if I told you, one of the greatest air disasters in history wasn't just an accident, but a mystery that remains unsolved to this day? Let me take you back to the halcyon days of the 1930s, a time when the skies were ruled not by airplanes but by behemoths of another kind. Airships. Among these leviathans, there was one that stood out, the Hindenburg. The Hindenburg, named after the late German president Paul von Hindenburg, was a marvel of the age. A colossal airship, longer than three football fields and as tall as a 45-story building, it was a symbol of ultimate luxury and technological advancement. Powered by hydrogen, it was designed to ferry passengers across the Atlantic in comfort and style, a feat that was unheard of in those times. But more than its size or opulence, the Hindenburg was significant for another reason. It was a beacon of hope in a world recovering from the Great Depression, a symbol of mankind's triumph over adversity. It represented the dreams and aspirations of an entire generation, dreams that were tragically extinguished on that fateful day in May 1937. For on that day, the Hindenburg met with a disaster of epic proportions. As it approached its docking tower at Lakehurst Naval Air Station in New Jersey, it burst into flames, crashed, and was consumed by a conflagration that was over in less than half a minute. The world watched in horror as the symbol of a hopeful future turned into a flaming inferno, taking the lives of 35 people on board and one person on the ground. But what exactly happened that day? How did a journey that began with such promise end in such a catastrophe? These questions have puzzled historians and enthusiasts for decades, and the answers remain elusive. So, let's rewind the clock to a time when airships dominated the skies. Let's embark on a journey to unravel the mystery of the Hindenburg. A disaster that unfolded second by second. A tragedy that remains one of the greatest unsolved mysteries of the 20th century. Picture this. The mid-1930s. A time when gigantic airships were the marvels of the sky. These were not just any flying objects. They were the epitome of luxury and engineering genius. Among these giants the Hindenburg stood out as a beacon of innovation. The Hindenburg was more than just an airship, it was a colossal feat of engineering. Over 800 feet long and 135 feet in diameter, the Hindenburg was the largest flying object ever built. Its framework, made of duralumin, a lightweight and strong alloy, was a testament to the avant-garde technology of the time. The interior of the Hindenburg was just as impressive as its exterior. It was designed to accommodate over 70 passengers and crew, making it the equivalent of a floating hotel. The passengers were treated to an opulent experience, complete with private cabins, a dining room, a lounge, and even a smoking room, all decorated in the chic style of the Art Deco era. Moreover, the Hindenburg was a marvel of speed and efficiency. It was powered by four reversible propellers, each driven by a mighty diesel engine, which made it capable of reaching speeds of up to 84 miles per hour. This was an astounding feat, considering the size and weight of the airship. Despite the grandeur and the magnificence of the Hindenburg, it was also a symbol of human audacity. To create such a massive, luxurious and fast-moving object that could float in the sky, was an audacious act of human ingenuity and ambition. However, all this splendor and sophistication couldn't mask the inherent risks involved in operating such a mammoth airship. The Hindenburg was filled with over 7 million cubic feet of highly flammable hydrogen gas, a fact that would later prove to be its downfall. Little did anyone know this flying palace was destined for a tragic end. May 3, 1937, the Hindenburg embarks on what would be its final voyage. From the heart of Europe, Frankfurt, Germany, the mighty airship cast off its moorings, a behemoth of the skies, ready to conquer the Atlantic once more. Aboard were 97 souls, each with their own stories, their own reasons for making this journey, oblivious to the fate that awaited them. The route was a familiar one for the Hindenburg, a transatlantic crossing to Lakehurst, New Jersey. A voyage that typically took about two and a half days. But this journey would be different. The weather, as it often does, had its own plans. As the Hindenburg sailed across the vast ocean, storms began to brew. It was a scenario the crew had prepared for, but one that would add an unexpected delay to their journey. Imagine the tension aboard the airship, as passengers and crew watched the gathering storm. The skies, once a vast expanse of blue, now a tumult of dark clouds and churning winds. The airship, a marvel of modern engineering, was at the mercy of nature's fury. The captain, a seasoned veteran of the skies, made the decision to delay the landing. Safety was paramount and so they would wait, hover above their destination, 
until the storm had passed. Hours turned into a day, and then into a night. The Hindenburg, this giant of the skies, held in suspense above the New Jersey coast, a beacon in the night sky. But as the storm subsided, hope returned. The weather cleared, and the Hindenburg was finally given the signal to land. The crew busied themselves with their duties, the passengers eagerly anticipating their arrival on American soil. The mood aboard the airship was one of relief, of excitement. Little did they know, they were sailing straight into one of the most infamous disasters in history. As the evening descended so did the Hindenburg, readying for landing. The final act in this tragic drama was set to begin. The fate of the Hindenburg was sealed, its place in history assured. The countdown to disaster had begun. At 7.25 p.m. the Hindenburg began its final descent, unaware of the fiery fate that awaited. As the sun started to set, the colossal airship, a symbol of human achievement, started its landing process. The crew, secure in their routine, initiated the procedures they had performed dozens of times before. The ground crew on the tarmac watched as the behemoth in the sky began to lower, the silver skin of the Zeppelin reflecting the last rays of the dying sun. As the Hindenburg got closer to the ground the crew on board prepared to drop the landing lines, thick ropes that would be used to pull the airship to its mooring mast. But then, something went terribly wrong. A sudden burst of flames appeared near the tail of the airship, the blaze fed by the hydrogen that kept the Hindenburg aloft, quickly turned into an inferno. The fire spread with a horrifying speed, consuming the outer skin of the airship, and then the skeletal structure underneath. In the blink of an eye the Hindenburg was engulfed in a fiery blaze. The ground crew could only watch in shock and horror as the airship, once a symbol of human ingenuity, was transformed into a burning pyre. On board, the crew and passengers were thrown into chaos. The fire spread so quickly that there was little time for anyone to react or escape. The screams of the crew and passengers were drowned out by the roar of the flames and the deafening sound of the structure collapsing. The once majestic airship was now a falling ball of fire, plummeting towards the ground with a terrifying speed. In less than a minute, history's largest airship was reduced to smoldering ruins. The Hindenburg disaster marked the end of an era, a fiery end to the age of the airships. It served as a stark reminder of the risks of pushing the boundaries of technology and the human cost that can come with it. The Hindenburg disaster shook the world marking the end of an era. The dramatic downfall of the airship was a cataclysmic event that sent ripples across the globe, leaving a profound impact on the annals of air travel. In the aftermath of the disaster the death toll was staggering. 35 people on board the Hindenburg, and one unfortunate soul on the ground, lost their lives in the horrifying inferno. It was a tragedy of immense proportions, a loss of life that was felt deeply by nations far and wide. But amidst the tragic loss there were also glimmers of hope. 62 people in a testament to human resilience and survival, miraculously made it out alive. These survivors forever marked by their harrowing experience, brought back tales of courage and survival against all odds. Their story served as a beacon of hope in the face of such a calamitous event. The disaster also had far-reaching implications on air travel. The Hindenburg was the pride of the airship era, a symbol of technological advancement and human achievement. Its downfall, however, marked a stark turning point. The trust in airships as a safe mode of transport was irrevocably shattered. The era of the airship came to a grinding halt, and the world turned its gaze towards safer, more reliable forms of air transportation. The catastrophe also spurred on a vigorous pursuit of safety improvements in air travel. New regulations were brought in, safety measures were heightened, and the design and operation of air vessels underwent a significant transformation. The Hindenburg disaster, in its aftermath, brought about a sea change in the world of aviation. But the question remained what caused the Hindenburg to burst into flames? In the wake of the disaster, theories and investigations were abound. In the aftermath of the Hindenburg tragedy, the quest to understand its cause ignited a flurry of theories. Among these, three stood out, the static spark theory, the bomb theory, and the incendiary paint theory. Firstly, the static spark theory. This theory posits that the Hindenburg's enormous size and speed created an electrostatic charge. As the airship approached the mooring mast, a spark ignited the hydrogen gas cells. Now imagine a spark, tiny yet powerful, setting off a reaction that engulfs the massive airship in flames. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? Then, there's the bomb theory. 
a theory that teeters on the edge of conspiracy. Some suggest that a bomb was planted on board, a deliberate act of sabotage. This theory arose due to the political tensions of the era, and although it's an intriguing proposal, hard evidence to support it is scant. Lastly, the incendiary paint theory. This theory suggests that the Hindenburg's outer skin, painted with a highly flammable substance, was the true culprit. The coating akin to rocket fuel could have easily ignited, turning the airship into a flying inferno. Each of these theories has its proponents and detractors. They've been dissected, debated, and deliberated upon by experts, historians, and passionate amateurs alike. Some have been bolstered by scientific experiments while others have faded into the realm of speculation. Yet, despite the many investigations and the passage of time, the precise cause of the Hindenburg disaster remains elusive. Was it a tragic accident caused by static electricity, a deliberate act of sabotage, or the unforeseen consequence of a combustible paint job? We may never know. The mystery of the Hindenburg disaster is a stark reminder of our constant struggle to tame technology and the elements. It is a testament to our relentless pursuit of truth, even when the answers elude us. Despite the numerous theories the true cause of the disaster remains a mystery. The Hindenburg disaster, a tragic event shrouded in mystery. As we venture further into the abyss of the unknown, we revisit the catastrophic event that was the Hindenburg disaster. A colossal airship, once a marvel of the skies, was reduced to a fiery inferno within mere seconds. The heartrending images of this disaster forever seared into the annals of history continue to captivate and confound us to this day. In the aftermath of the catastrophe, investigators scrambled to piece together the chilling puzzle. Was it a design flaw, an act of sabotage, or a tragic accident? Despite exhaustive efforts, the exact cause remains as elusive as a wisp of smoke in the wind. Various theories have been proposed over the years, each with its own compelling arguments and counter-arguments. Some point to the volatile hydrogen gas used to lift the airship, suggesting a spark ignited the flammable gas. Others argue that a coating on the fabric of the airship, resembling rocket fuel in composition, was the true culprit. The sabotage theory, although less accepted, has its share of proponents. They argue that a bomb was planted on the airship, an act of political defiance or personal vendetta. The absence of conclusive evidence, however, leaves this theory in the realm of speculation. The fascination with the Hindenburg disaster endures, a testament to its impact on our collective consciousness. It marked the end of an era, the last gasp of the great airships that once ruled the skies. The disaster also served as a stark reminder of the inherent risks of pushing the boundaries of technology, a lesson that continues to resonate in our pursuit of innovation. The Hindenburg disaster, a spectacle of horror and a symbol of human ambition gone awry, remains an unsolved mystery. Its place in history is assured, a tragic tale that echoes through the ages, a reminder of the fragility of life and the relentless march of progress. The fall of the Hindenburg, a disaster that remains an enigma, forever etched in the annals of history.